Well, we were all boys and girls at one time, and now I think it's really important to know what kids go through uh, in their lifetimes that are different than what we experienced, and we're so lucky to have with us the CEO of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Orange Coast, Robert Santana, thank you so much for joining us here. You have so much going on that supports kids today that we really want to be able to share that with our viewers. So welcome. Thank you. And after a 77 year history, you guys are still growing and, and just really keeping your eye on the future. Tell us what's going on. Well, thank you very much for, for the invitation to join with you today. You know, you, you mentioned 77 years of, of impact. Few organizations have been around that long and are as relevant today as they were when they first started. That's amazing. And so for us, as a, as a brand, as a mission-driven organization, um, what we're really focused on is the future, the next generation of kids. And we're very fortunate to have the history, the brand, the, the infrastructure of an organization that, that has been as successful as we have for 77 years but at the same time, look to the future. And what we're doing is we're making decisions and investments for kids that aren't born yet. And really looking ahead to what the Boys and Girls Club will be for families. And, and today, especially as, as the global economy continues to move at such a fast pace, we wanna prepare kids for jobs that haven't been invented yet. We wanna make sure that our Boys and Girls Club is flexible and adaptable so that working families have a place that they can rely on as a support system. And just the way that most families are structured today, uh, you really do need a support system of family and friends and organizations like ours mm -hmm. to help raise kids and to make sure that kids are healthy, that they have mentors, that they have role models, uh, especially for those working parents that are really doing everything they can to just kind of keep everything going. Having mentors like us involved in a family is an opportunity for them to have relationships, mm -hmm. an extension. And so our kids look up to our staff members as their role models and mentors. And I, and I think that has a huge long-term effect. And you know, the mission of our organization is to build these long-term memories and, the, and to really make sure that we are intentional with childhood. You know, what they say is that it takes a village to raise a child, Indeed. right? And, and you guys are, are becoming the village in a very real way where as a lot of our society is becoming globalized, you yeah. guys are going local and you're providing all those services that the neighborhood used to provide. Right? Absolutely, as, as great as technology is, I'm a, I'm a big advocate for you know, the, the way that modern medicine is improving and the way that business is improving. Mm -hmm. There's also vulnerabilities that mm -hmm. the more tech reliant we become, mm -hmm. the bigger the gaps are for how we communicate with each other in person mm -hmm. and the type of skills that people need in order to cope with stress and so as we see these vulnerabilities it's important that the boys and girls will continue to focus on relationships mm -hmm. and that kids have a place where they can feel safe that they can build relationships with each other with peers and that they have role models that they can look up to and as parents if we don't create a good uh, environment for kids to look up to someone then they'll look up to s someone that we may not you know right. be you know in, mm -hmm. in agreement with and so we want to make sure that kids have their place that's just their own. Um, and as we look at how more complex things will get, um, you know, you mentioned internet and technology. These are all great tools, but it also isolates people. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're seeing rates of, of, of teen suicide and depression mm -hmm. on the rise. Mm -hmm. And in large part, it's because the majority of how we socialize these days is through internet through screen. and yeah. through yeah. screens. And so we wanna make sure that we leverage these tools. These are great tools. And, and, and we want to make sure that these add value to us mm -hmm. while at the same time making sure that, that, that kids still have a, a place and, a, and, a, and a, 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 a support system that allows them to build these social skills. So you're not functioning strictly as an after school program. You're really diving in and becoming a fully integrated part of their lives. Is that true? Absolutely. And, and certainly you know, delivering after school programs is a component of what we do, but it's not who we are. It's not what mm -hmm. defines us. And, you know, there's plenty of really great after school programs. Uh, but for us, you know, we're a mission driven organization that's here to provide relationships and mentors to kids. And, you know, someday when these kids grow up, they're going to come back and they're going to speak about the relationships. They're going to ask about the people that right. they actually remember. Mm -hmm. They're not going to ask about the things. 
And, and that's for us the, the bullseye. It's making sure that we're building these lifelong memories yeah. so that as they move on to career and, and eventually they become parents, we help them build the fabric of their character and their leadership and, and help them develop their, their voice. Uh, and those things are far above and beyond what a program can operate. So for us, it's really about the relationship. And while we were off camera, we were talking a little bit about how, about how you got involved with the Boys and Girls Clubs. I'd love for you to share sure. that story. I, I, first off, I've never met a successful person that was self-made. And one thing that I've learned over the years is that the common denominator between any successful person that I've ever met, ever learned about, have ever heard about, is that they've all benefited from the generosity of other people. Every successful person has had a mentor or a group of mentors in their life, whether it's a Steve Jobs or a Martin Luther King, all these people that, that are leaders are, are who they are because someone helped mm -hmm. them find their, their, their passion, their voice, maybe motivated them to, to, to take that risk and speak on behalf of others. And so my mission is to ensure that all kids, no matter background or zip code, no matter where they come from and what their family structure looks like, that all kids need mentors in life. Yep. And so this organization has allowed me the opportunity to apply that, that passion. As an entrepreneur, I get to build large-scale sustainable initiatives to ensure that kids have a mentor, someone that's in their corner to help guide the way, that's there to help them when they stumble. It's someone there that's just gonna show you that someone cares about you. And we're very you know, lucky that we have kids that go home to a great home environment and, and they have you know, parents that they have there uh, um, available to them and they have resources and they have their own room and they can have access to technology and library books. But the reality is in Orange County, you know, we have kind of two versions of growing up. Mm -hmm. And there's some kids that have access to those types of support systems, but there's a, there's a lot of kids that are growing up and they don't have access to that. And they may be you know, the first in their family to go to college. They may be living in an environment that that is tough, whether it's living with multiple families, uh, coming from poverty. Um, and so for us, it's making sure that every kid, no matter where they come from and what their life looks like, they have that adult role model that's investing in them. And so I, my, I left a career in law enforcement uh, so that I can commit myself and the rest of my life to this mission, to make sure that all kids have a support system. And you know, I can't say honestly that when I started 14 years ago at the Boys and Girls Club as a volunteer, that I knew this is what it would look like. Mm -hmm. I'm an entrepreneur, I think like an entrepreneur. I, I live in the world of potential. I see what can be. Mm -hmm. And I challenge myself and the people around me to think bigger than all of us. I thought that way in the beginning. And what has happened is I've been very lucky to develop a strong team of professionals that also have ambition on behalf of the kids we serve. And so we're thinking bigger today than we ever have. Uh, and as we look at the momentum and the culture of our Boys and Girls Sub, it is to challenge the status quo. It is to innovate. It is to grow and deepen the impact that we have. And we're doing a lot more today than we ever have in 77 years of our history. And we'll continue to, to grow and evolve. That's what we're known for. We're entrepreneurs. And so we're always going to find creative solutions for some of the most complex issues that we face here in Orange County. And are you looking for volunteers? I think the, the, the power of mentorship is something that can't be bottled up. Mm -hmm. And so mentorship is someone investing in another person. And, and I shared off camera that there's this myth around mentorship and philanthropy that it's about the organization. Right. And I believe that people give to an organization, whether it's time or money or resources, not because of the organization, but because how they feel when they support something that they believe in. Mm -hmm. And it's a selfish act. It, you know, I, I jokingly say that philanthropy is a selfish act because we feel great when we support a mission that we believe in yep. and we're just, we feel lucky that we're a part of it. And so that's how I see my involvement mm -hmm. with the Boys and Girls Club. We're always looking for role models and mentors, whether it's corporate partners or someone that wants to come in and share their story. Um, I was on a panel yesterday with um, some seniors that are going into their senior year of high school this year. And it was very much a very informal panel discussion around what advice would you give yourself when you were their age? Mm -hmm. And I think those types of opportunities, I ended up leaving that uh, panel with our kids more, I probably got more out of it than they did yeah. because it inspired me to think about how these kids have so much in front of them and how much potential they have. Right. 
And for us, I mean, if we've been around for 77 years and we've done all this great work, and now we have this level of expertise and this level of, of, of infrastructure, the impact we're gonna have now and, and in the next several decades, for me is, is something that I'm very proud to be a part of. So how can people get involved? Where do our, our viewers go to find you? We have a, a very easy to find website. Uh, I mean, if you just Google Boys and Girls Sub, Google do the rest for you. They'll find the near, okay. nearest Boys and Girls Sub. Our website is boysandgirlsub.com. Uh, but if it's not our Boys and Girls Sub and it's another Boys and Girls Sub that's in your area, I encourage you to reach out and, and, and find a way to connect, whether that's with time, uh, whether that's you know, donating school supplies, uh, toys during the holidays, um, or to, to write a check. Mm -hmm. the, the magic of the Boys and Girls Club is that there is no one thing, there is no one person that puts it all together. And I'm very privileged yeah. to be the CEO and the leader of this organization, but I'm really, a, really just an ambassador for the volunteers, the board members, the, the staff, all the people that share the same values and vision that I believe, and then we leverage that. And it, it does, it's a cliche, but it takes a village to raise a family and we are very proud to be a part of that village. A it takes for family. profits and mm -hmm. philanthropy mm -hmm. and school districts and city government and uh, you know that ten dollar check is just as important as that million dollar check. It, it really does take the community coming together to say we believe in kids yep. and we invest in their future. Well and they are lucky to have you if nothing else we certainly feel your heart Definitely. for the organization. I was just gonna right? say that I'm like you sound like the publicist for all of your staff. <laughs> like, who could have a better CEO exactly. than that? You know? Thank you it's so amazing. much for sharing really the it. Boys and Girls Clubs of Orange County with us. And we look forward to seeing you again. Thank, Thank you, you for coming in. And we'll be right back. <laughs>